Hello, this is the CRT man here. Today I'm showing you some pictures of 10 pretty old, or should I say very old, hard drives and a 1989 IBM 4707 CRT computer monitor at, at my college. Yeah, this, the CRT monitor, like I said, was an IBM 4707. It was manufactured September 1989. It looked like a little, I don't know, maybe nine inch or maybe less than that. It had a VGA cable. It was a very cute looking CRT monitor. I do love those little tiny ones. They just look so cool. Um, and that was next to ten extremely old hard drives and these pictures here. Ten of them. That is a lot of old hard drives. But they were awesome. Uh, this, the first one is a Priam uh, V170 aka uh, ID 60 AT, uh, which there's a funny story about Priam. There's a company in California called Vertex Peripherals, which there's actually another hard drive in there, but I'll get to that later. Um, and Priam brought them out in about 1985, so that's why on that sticker it said Vertex, even though it also said Priam. So they got bought out, and I think Priam was also from California, made in the USA. America. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway. Uh, well, I'm serious about that, though. And it was a 60 megabyte hard drive, and I'm guessing it's from 85. Um, this next one is a Seagate ST-225, uh, 20 megabyte hard drive from, I'm guessing, about 1986. It was a very cool hard drive, pretty popular, too. This next one is a Quantum Q540 from 1983. And this one was a 36 megabyte hard drive in pretty darn good condition. Even though it says 540 right there, it was actually a Q540 on a different label. This next one is, like I said, a Vertex Peripherals V185 70 megabyte hard drive from about 1986. At least that's what this label looks like it says. And like I said, Vertex was eventually bought out by Priam, so that's why they look exactly the same. And, uh, yeah, both made in the USA and California. In fact, if you look closely, it looks like it says Milpitas, what is the Bay Area. And, um, this next one is three Seagate ST-4051 hard drives. That's right, three of them, and they were some beasts, and they had top and bottom circuit boards. Never seen that before. And what I read, it said they were mostly made in 1987, I guess. Uh, yeah, they were pretty darn big, and they were 42 megabytes. Yeah. Uh, this next one is a Fujitsu M200, uh, sorry, M2000, let me just read out the numbers. M2249E, uh, hard drive from, looks like it says January 1990. It's definitely for 1990, but I think that one means January. And that was actually a whopping 300 megabyte hard drive. <laughs> Yeah, 300 megs. Pretty good for back then, actually. Um, this next one was another Seagate ST-225 20 megabyte hard drive. This one said IBM XT Type 2 hard drive, in which, um, yeah, pretty much it's just another Seagate. Even though that, that one had a sticker on it that said it was a bad hard drive, though, so it probably had the click of death. Um, yeah, that was also 20 megabyte. And this last one was a Precision Instrument slash Otzi uh, 3046 hard drive, which was made June 13th, 1984, and was a whopping 39 megabytes. Yeah, um, I'm not sure about the whole Precision Instrument slash Otzi thing, but I'm pretty sure it could have been similar to Priam and Vertex peripherals. Which a lot of people don't even know about Vertex peripherals because the company only lasted about three years. Priam lasted um, maybe about ten years, I guess. So there you have it. Uh, I'll maybe one day I'll see if I can take these hard drives and maybe the monitor. He said he has a lot of stuff he doesn't really want anymore, and they're just kind of sitting there looking pretty and dusty. <laughs> and also there's like a big thing of oil next to them, which I've heard you have to oil down hard drives or something. So yeah, wish me luck, maybe I could try to take them in the next couple years, and they are freaking awesome. So, uh, and also, I took these pictures pretty much between the whole month of September. So there you have it, so thank you for watching.